it's Betsy and today we have a fun video and it's gonna be in collaborations with one of my good friends here on YouTube and that is Rupee Minas. I will take and put her picture up here and link her channel. She is absolutely fantastic. You need to go check her out like I'm telling you she is so sweet. We talk all the time on Marco Polo and she is just the greatest and she is a colorful eyeshadow lover like I am and she is you know my buddy from up north because she is Canadian and she is just I mean let me tell you she is the sweetest personality I can't even so whenever I did my collaboration with Tara Lee um, it was suggested to try to do my makeup with my opposite hander just like a tag kind of a tag video so I asked Rupi if she wanted to do this with me because I thought it would be absolutely hilarious because I am a true lefty like nobody's business I am not ambidextrous in the least little bit so I thought that this could be kind of fun so that's what we're doing today so the first thing I'm gonna do is I got a sharpie here and I'm gonna try to put a mark on my left hand and again this feels so weird so that way I remember not to use that hand so this is going to be extremely difficult for me so we'll start off by putting on our mouse ears these are some that I got at Christmas at Disney World in 2018 Let's see it says Mary and Bright and they have like that cute fluffy bow. I like it better when they have the fluffy bow like that. So we're going to chit chat and talk while we do this because I don't know what else to do to keep y'all entertained because as I said, I am nervous for this collab. Like it's even weird trying to grab for products with my opposite hand. Okay. So what we're going to start off by doing is priming our face. So I guess I'm going to this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer. So I don't know, because I typically apply it with two hands, if it would be cheating to apply it with two hands. I have no idea. I applied too much. It's okay though. This feels so weird. Like, I feel like I'm gonna be exhausted halfway through the video because like yesterday when I was doing my eyeshadow, I put my eyeshadow primer on with my right hand and it looked so bad. And uh, Jeremy was like, can you tell which eye I did with my bad hand? He was like, yeah, that one, because it wasn't as smooth and everything as usual. So I don't think I'm gonna use eye tapes today because I don't know how I would even begin to one, cut them with my right hand and two, get them even. So we're gonna use, this is the Makeup by Mario. This is the Master Prep Set in Light. That's what we're gonna use to prime my eyes. And I am gonna grab a makeup wipe because I will probably, I will definitely need that. So there are two cream products in here, which I don't know why I'm swatching it because you don't really care for that. You're here to watch me make a fool out of myself. So I'm going to take my right hand and dip into it and try to kind of prime my eyelids. And I like to use something that kind of cancels out. I mean, as you can see, I have a lot of discoloration on my lids. That to me is probably my main skin concern is my hyperpigmentation and then every once in a while I get a breakout and they're almost always on my chin because I touch my face but I typically only get a breakout whenever it is that time of the month but you know it is what it is this feels so so weird and this is not even at all like at all okay so I've got that on so I need a big fluffy brush so this is the got to try to dust this off with the wrong hand too this is the BK Beauty 201 and there is a setting powder in here okay let me show you because I don't know how to even hold like I don't know this is going to be so bad 
Yep, this is gonna be terrible. Oh, so, so bad. I'm sorry. I don't know how you righties do it. I don't know. This is so bad. Oh God, nope. So, for eyeshadow today, I think that's about all I can do with priming my eyes. I, I just got in a couple of weeks ago, the Sydney Grace, when they did their sale, the Enduring Love palette. It looks like this, and it is a very pretty, mainly neutral palette. So I figured this would be kind of fun to use. I love Sydney Grace's formula, and I figured I might do better if I use something a little bit more neutral. Now I have the light version of this, but they do have a deeper version. They were sold out of the deeper version when I went to purchase it, so that's why I got this. I think I'm gonna go into the shade, oh, see how this is wrong. This is so, so wrong. Okay, let's see if we can do this. It's gonna take me 10,000 years. Like literally, I think this is going to take me 10,000 years to do, yeah, you can tell I am not comfortable in the least little bit, my goodness. And y'all thought I was joking whenever I did the game Beauty that I have like no hand-eye coordination. Hopefully this shows you that I was being dead serious. Like I am so terrible. Y'all like my Jingle Bell earrings? I bought them at Hobby Lobby. I was picking up craft stuff for my main channel and they had these in the Christmas craft section. I was like, Ooh, I need Jingle Bells. I was walking around the house and Caden was trying to figure out where I had bells on. It was quite funny. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this isn't, st okay. I think I can get away with this. I think this is okay. It's blending. So this is why you use good shadows because even when you're terrible at doing makeup, good shadows can save you. Okay, so, eh, could be worse could be better, but it could be worse. So let's grab, and I'm gonna challenge myself. Like, I don't wanna make this easy. This is the BK Beauty, what is this? 202. Okay, so y'all know I like this for deepening up my crease. So I think I'm gonna go into the shade Darcy, right here, which is like that pinky mauve. And we're gonna just kinda keep that in the corner. So maybe instead of like blending like I normally do, we'll just kind of do the packing motion and hopefully this will kind of blend itself. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, let's try. Oh, like I feel like I'm gonna have arm fatigue when I'm done. I really wanna see who else tries this because this is, the worst. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the 201 again. And I'm pretty much sitting on my left hand so I don't keep trying to go for it. Okay, that kinda helped, maybe. Maybe. Okay. So let's go back into Darcy. And kinda lightly blend it oh jesus please take the wheel help me out oh god okay we got that okay i think that is as good as that's going to get deep so i think what i'm going to go to now this feels so weird is i'm going to go into the shade boaz which is that deeper kind of cool tone gray And we're gonna apply that to the outer corner. Ah, don't poke myself in the eye. I need to be able to see. This is a good challenge. So 201, trying to blend it out like I am not going light as a feather like I typically do this is bad okay 
Well, at least Sydney Grace has a good eyeshadow formula. I can even see that. So just taking and now patting my eyeshadow. But yeah, no. So one of the things I was talking about with Rupee is, you know, I am such an awkward person when it comes to friendships. Like I don't know if I know how to be friends with people anymore. Like my anxiety really gets the best of me. So I am not good at responding back to people. And you know, my little bubble is what makes me happy. Okay, so I think that is as good as it's going to get. So we're gonna do a lid shade. Okay, gonna have to use my left hand to squeeze this out so that way I'm not cheating. This is the Too Faced Glitter Glue. And I'm going to use my finger today instead of a brush because I feel like with my finger, at least I have a little bit more control when I'm doing it with my opposite hand. How do y'all feel about stuff like that? Do y'all feel like y'all are good with people or is that something difficult for you? For me, I always feel like it is super difficult. I'm gonna go into the shade Deanna, the shimmer down here. Ooh, that's pretty. Guess we're going smoky today. But yeah. So, I feel like I'm always so awkward with people. I'm trying to get better though. I don't know. And part of the thing is, I think it's also because like it was always me and Jeremy for so long. Since we had kids so young, most of our friends did not and they went and partied and you know, went to the club and all that kind of stuff. and we hung out and took care of our family that, you know, I kind of ran out of things in common with people for a while. And, you know, like when YouTube first started, even though I have always loved makeup, you know, that was back whenever my babies were little. YouTube started in 2005. And I know some people have been on the platform from the beginning, but you know, I worked and took care of kids. This is so bad. Oh my goodness. This is not pretty. Okay, I'm taking my makeup wipe. And we're going to try to clean it up. Eh, that's better. I look like I'm trying to do like Halloween makeup. Okay. That could be worse. Okay, so now I'm gonna use, this is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. We're gonna set this over to the side for now. Um, I figured this one would be a little bit easier to use because it has the, this part to kind of place my foundation all over my face. But yeah, so we started young and then now it's like, okay, what do you do? How do you get back into the swing of things? And then part of the thing is, you know, my friends and stuff who didn't have babies back then are now having babies. So again, we're in like a whole different tax bracket. Not really, but you get what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my BK Beauty 101 and see if I can blend this with this. Okay, good brushes are key to anything. Cause look, it's like blending itself. Oh, but I have this beauty sponge just in case. But yeah, no, so I feel like we're in like a totally different part in our life compared to like most people that I know. This is bad. So that makes it difficult. And you know, even on here, I feel like the old lady of YouTube. And I know I'm not, it's just a high feel. Okay. I think that worked okay. Now this, I have a shade darker than this in this foundation, but I decided to go with this one today. I don't know why. Like, I only 
don't even know what I'm doing anymore with my life, y'all. But, yeah. Let's go over it with the sponge. I can do that with my right hand. But, yeah, no. So, and the thing about it is, like, I was telling Rupi, I have always loved makeup. Me and Jeremy have talked about this at great lengths. Whenever I was a teenager, first job I had, you know what I spent my whole makeup pay paycheck on? Makeup. You know, no, I didn't know anything about it. And anyone who's my age or older, you know, before the rise of the internet tutorials, you know exactly what I mean. You didn't, it was so hard to find anyone who knew anything about makeup. It was crazy. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Age Rewind and Neutralizer and my concealer. Kind of feels dry. Anyways, so you try to find and follow tutorials that were in like 17 Cosmopolitan, things like that, which were not always the greatest at, this looks bad, teaching makeup, but you know, it is what it is. So we had lots of bad things. And then we had the 90s brows. Girls, y'all know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the 90s brows, the no nothing eyebrow. There was nothing there. And it was such a pain in the hiney for me to keep up with because even now, like, I don't think y'all realize how much eyebrow care I have to do because my hairs grow so fast and it would take no time for them to look bad. And I don't know how many times because a lot of times when I was a teenager and stuff, like I could afford to go get them waxed every once in a while, but there were other things I wanted to spend my money on. So I didn't go pay to get them waxed all the time. And with that being said, I don't know how many times I would shave them and that was bad. And I don't know how many times I lost the tail to my eyebrow or they'd be like completely uneven y'all. And I'm still, I'm not good at doing my eyebrows myself. Like I still, even through COVID, I used to go get them done every two weeks, but through COVID, I try to spread it out so I'm not exposing myself as much. So I go get them done like once a month, which is still probably not enough time for me. So, okay, we like that. That is okay. <sighs> my wrist is freaking hurting. Like this is pain in the hiney. So this is the Hourglass Ambient lighting palette in diffused edit. This came from uh, Ulta. And it's got the diffused light powder right here, the euphoric fusion and the bronze light bronzer. So I really like this palette. So I'm gonna grab, this is a refer 18 brush and we're gonna try to get some powder to set under my eyes. So what I figured I would do with most of these products is choose things that I really like, that I know blend easily because I think that is the key to doing this with an opposite hand is blending. You know what I mean? My eyes look so bad. I think that is the worst part of this is how bad the eyes look. Now, I definitely won't be applying any false lashes today because, yeah, no, that's terrible. This is the Refer 24, and I like using this for bronzer, so I'm using that in Hourglass bronzer, just kind of tapping it in because that's all I can really do. Um, when I'm doing more of this, like, tapping motion because it is nice and firm, and it diffuses products really well. So, yeah. I mean, y'all are getting to know quite a bit about me. But yeah, no. That's kind of how I feel on things. I mean, I know I'm probably not the only one who feels like this, but I know a lot of people also understand the feeling of, you know, being the one that has the babies first in your friend group and then you kind of lose touch with people because y'all just ain't into the same thing anymore. Not bad. 
I don't know if it's enough bronzer though. Hmm. I can deal with this. I think it looks pretty good. Just kind of keep bouncing and layering, bouncing and layering. I think that's the trick to this. Okay, so now this is my wrist. Now this is the Refer 05 brush. It's another, it's not as dense as the other, the other brush, but I'm using that for the blush. So we're gonna start back here and then kind of bring it down to my apples. I hate Hourglass's shade range, but I love their products. And this one works for me. Now there have been palettes in the past, I think it was the 2018 or 2017 palette that I bought that I had to give to my sister-in-law because it just was not, like it was just too light for my skin. Like every product in it just, I mean, some of the powders worked, but for the most part, the blushes and stuff just didn't show up. Okay, like I don't feel like I have enough blush on. Like, I feel like a child trying to color. Ooh, now I put too much. Now it's too much. Okay, let's grab my bronzer brush and see if we can tone that down. I think that. I think that's working. But yeah, no, this is bad. This is so, so bad. Okay, let's go ahead and do some brows before I put on highlight. Okay, this. Ugh. So we're just brushing them up with, this is the Nabla brush. This is gonna be bad. Brows are not my thing anyway okay so we're gonna twist it up a little bit this is the mac spiked eyebrow pencil and i got this in a boxy charm and it actually works pretty well for me so we're gonna continue to use it now i did dye my hair this morning um it's the same color it's been but the thing is red hair fades so so fast so bad so red hair fades so fast it looks always like this deep kind of plummy cherry whenever I first do it and then like within a couple of washes it's so much lighter and then because I was blonde on my ends when I use my red shampoo like it turns fire engine red I'm getting there we're doing it. See, I think that's the trick with this is slow and steady wins the race. Oh my Jesus. Like, I don't even know how to explain how wrong using the opposite hand feels. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I hope I never lose use of my left hand. I would be so screwed. So screwed. Because, yeah. This is pretty bad. So, so bad. But at least I can kind of use my finger to kind of fix it, maybe. Yeah. Where's the brush? And I'm already terrible with my eyebrows. Like, as I said, I'm not good with eyebrows anyway. Like, that's why I just use a pencil. Doing too much work to my eyebrows is almost impossible. And I keep thinking I wanna get in them microbladed, but then I'm scared of having like, them tattooed on my face because I have lots of tattoos. It's not that. It's just getting tattooed on my face. And I know that it's not supposed to be permanent, but 
Like I scar in general so bad. I have like the thinnest skin um, in comparison. Like you would think I was older. My Everybody knows like in my family that my skin is like paper thin. So I cut, I bleed very, very easily in a scar. Like if you look all over me, you'll see scars because it's just something that happens. This is the ABH A23 and I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona. I need a nude glow for highlight. That's not bad. I gotta figure out a way to work with the autofocus on this camera. You know, I've been doing YouTube for a while, but I changed everything up over here because I used to do some crafting stuff like on my main channel and I was like, and it gets me views, but I really just wanna make this a makeup channel. So I changed it up so it's like, I'm starting all over. Okay. Highlight makes things better. Okay, let's put that up. Okay, let's see if I can grab my BK Beauty brush and see if I can kind of smooth stuff going on up here. Okay, so I will admit that things look bad, but they could be worse. Like, I thought that this was going to be a bajillion times worse than what this is looking like. So I'm actually quite proud of myself. So I'm gonna grab, this is the BK Beauty 205 brush. It's like an ankle brush. And I'm gonna use it to go into the shade Darcy, which is that darker kind of pink color. And apply that under my eyes because I don't think I feel comfortable going much darker than that. And I'm not sure if I'm going to attempt to do waterline eyeliner or not. Same BK Beauty 201 that I used on the top. Just kind of using that to try to smooth things out. I look sickly. I do. I look sickly. So yeah, let's go ahead and try to line our lower lash line. Uh, this is the ColourPop Gel Cream Eyeliner in Sunnyvale. Uh, I did it. Yay. L. Running an eyeliner across your eyeball does not feel good. Okay, we're gonna grab that 203 brush to kind of blend things out because my eyes are now watering because I put the pencil and I drag it across my eyeball. Yeah. Okay, so what else? Okay, so we need a little brush. Let me dust this off. I don't know if it's cheating to use my good hand to dust these off, but I used it yesterday and I need to wash my brushes. So I'm gonna go into the shade John right here as my inner corner highlight. Sydney Grace really does have an amazing formula that is a lot, a lot of inner corner highlight. Oh my goodness. But yeah. Okay, now here's some of the fun stuff. Now I think this is where we're gonna get to the real challenging stuff. Oh, we're gonna try to do <laughs> mascara and lips. Please pray for me. Okay, so I'm gonna use my good hand to unscrew it because I don't think I have enough strength in my bad hand and I am not going to even. So I'm back, my camera stopped recording while I was in the middle of putting on my mascara. So we're gonna continue. Now I am not going near my eyelashes with my bad hand. I don't have an, enough of them to 
lose if I accidentally pull them all out. So that's a no from me. Oh my Jesus. Okay, with that mascara on. Now I'm not gonna line my lips. Or should I? Yeah, I guess we should since that is a normal thing. So we're gonna use, this is the Juvia's Place So Rare Lip Liner. And see, I can do this. This is gonna be a long video, sorry guys. Okay. Okay. That could be worse. Okay. So for lips, I'm going to use, no, I think I'm gonna use my Propa. Okay, so here's my Propa Beauty Lipstick in Finesse. This is like my go-to nude shade. I love, love, love this lipstick. So. Okie dokie. Close that up. Now we need setting spray and I am done. Okay, so I will tell you, this is extremely difficult to do. I think I did a halfway decent job. I'm going in close so you can see. The blend on my eyes is absolutely atrocious. My eyebrows are terrible. There are certain spots on my lips that I did color outside the lines. But all in all, for using the wrong hand, I don't think I did that bad. Who would know? Okay, so if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos, which is typically every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But for Christmas, I am posting every single day of the month of December. But I guess that's it. So don't forget to check out Rupee's channel. But I guess we will see y'all later. Bye.